preparing all the ingredients to fry Penang Char Kway Teow. Chive, pork fat, fish cake, kway teow, prawn, Chinese sausage, bean sprout, egg, cockles, all the sauces that go with it. When you go to the market and you want to buy cockles, how to see whether they are fresh? When majority open like that, you can buy. But majority all sleeping like this, then don't buy. Yeah, because they are not so fresh. You must wash it as though you are washing clothing. Okay, you just wash like that with water. Throw away because a lot of mud, a lot of sand. Okay, wash another time. Throw away the water. The third time, soak the cockles with water, covering it about maybe two inches above the cockles and put one teaspoon of salt in the water and leave it there for half an hour to do a detoxification. When the cockle open up, all the mud, whatever debris that is inside will come out. To take the cockle out from the shell, first it is put in the tub and then you just pour very hot boiling water. Just stir it for one, one minute, that's it. You can actually open quite easily and you can also eat it like that with rachang chili. Oh, so nice. Another easy way to remove the shell is this gadget. It's my treasured possession. Walk from a fly by night store. After that, I couldn't find it. But lately, my husband went to Bangkok and she found it. He bought five for me. So that each one can have one when we eat cockle. <laughs> so please invest in one of these if you can find it. Take a cockle and then this one you put to the back and then you just. That's it. You see, this is quite clean. Sometimes they got some mud. You just use the thumb and then take it out, put in the water. Then you use this shell and then you scrape it. Like this. What I normally do, I will open up all first. Okay, then I remove. You see? This uh, cockle is very fresh, pinky, red. Okay, how to make the prawn crunchy is to add some sugar. This is what the restaurant is also doing. And to make it more crunchy, you have to leave it in the fridge for a little while. When it's chilled, you fry it, it's very crunchy. If you want to know how to de-shell and de the prawn, you can actually click onto the link on the tutorial how to de and de-shell de the prawn. If you were to watch the CNA Chinatown trip where I introduce you to all the wax this, wax that, the wax lap xiong, wax dark, uh, wax pork, so I bought from there. They only sell at Chinatown during Chinese New Year. You can still buy it from any of the dried goods provision shop, but this is very nice. It's only once a year. That's why I used to buy quite a lot and store it up in the freezer. I need to remove the casing of the Chinese sausage because uh, this casing is really made of synthetic, okay, so it's not very good. To... If you were to remove, like this is quite difficult. So what you do is that you soak it in hot water for about 5-10 minutes and it will come up. So you look at this one. See? See the difference? So this is so difficult to peel. Yeah, so this is so easy. Just open it up. Just invert it. And just, just slide this out and put it. So that's it. So this is plastic, you see? You see, you bite until your teeth break, this also doesn't break. <laughs> yeah, throw away. This one, you just slice it thinly. Chak kway teow without pork lard is no chak kway teow, okay? It doesn't taste the same. But of course, if you want a healthier version, you can always use cooking oil. But for me, I don't eat chakwe teow very often, so I don't mind eating some of this <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> so you have to cut it into a cube, like this. Next, okay, you slice a fish cake. Right? into thin slices like this okay for the bean sprout you either remove the root and just fry it like this or you can remove both the root and the head or if you do not want to waste time you want to put the whole thing in you can do so but make sure you remove all these black husks okay this one cannot be eaten so, of course, you have to remove all those uh, bad ones, okay? Those are uh, not so good. Just throw them away. After that, you just go and wash it, and then you drain dry, okay? So, this is the chai, so I can cut it. Okay, so, 
Now I will cut the lime into half, you know, to squeeze onto the chocolate tiao. Okay, next, cut some chili for chili lover. Okay, now I'm gonna fry the pork fats. First, the wok must be heated up, and then you put the pork fat there. The moment it changes color to light yellow, then it will turn the fire low. Okay, and then you continue to stir without stopping. You fry until like this color, like uh, not really dark brown. Because by the time it turns dark brown, it will become chow ta already. So you have to transfer it onto a bowl, just leaving about one tablespoon of oil in a wok. So now you fry the Chinese sausage, but again you got to go low fire because the Chinese sausage contains a little bit of sugar, it can burn very easily. Fry until you can smell you know, the la wei, then remove it. Then now I add some chopped garlic onto the wok with the oil. Fry until it's aromatic and then you put the kuei tiao in and then you fry. So when you fry the kuei tiao, you make sure that you don't chop it into small pieces. You want to do it very gently, not, not cutting through. Okay, they add in the light sauce and then the black sauce and then you stir it. So you see how I stir it, you just push the kuei tiao and then that's it. And then you put the spatula underneath the kuei tiao and stir it. Now you add sweet sauce to the kuei tiao and then you fry. And then next you put the chives. In and then you stir it and mix well. Be gentle with the kuei tiao. Be very very gentle, okay? Yeah, otherwise it will become all oh, disintegrated. Then now we add in the fish cake. Stir and mix well. Then push the kuei tiao by the side and put one tablespoon of oil, the pork oil. And then crack the eggs in, three eggs. Uh, add in the fish sauce and use the spatula to uh, stir it. Stir it well. And then cover the egg with the kuei tiao and leave it for a while. Okay, then you turn. See how it turns? Then you put the kuei tiao by the side again of the wok and then you put in some oil. Then you add in the prawn. You need to do it uh, step by step because a uh, different ingredient has got different cooking time. Okay, now you stir all in. Lastly, you put in the bean sprout. Because I want the bean sprout to be crunchy, so I don't want it to be uh, uh, overcooked and become limp. Then last, you add in the my beloved cockles. Kuei tiao, cha kuei tiao without cockle is not cha kuei tiao to me. So you add, after that, you add in one teaspoon of pork oil and then again cover it with the kuei tiao and then after that, just for a few seconds, okay? And then if the kuei tiao is a bit dry, you add a little bit of water to it and then you stir, mix well and that's it. Because once the cockle is overcooked, you know what? It's like rubber because it's very, very elastic. So, that's it. Wow, look at this. So, cha kui tiao. It's most people's favorite, you know, in Singapore. I think this is one of the uh, dish that people will order in the hawker center. And lastly, the very sinful <laughs> pot luck. Yeah, that really makes it nice, you know, because of the pot luck. Do you like my chakwe tiao? It's yummy, isn't it? If you really like this recipe, please join me the next time when I do another video. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye. You should be able to find it. Yeah? See, it open up. Cocker cracker. <laughs> I think I don't know what is it called.